hi to one of my people who obviously cares about me um, based on what she wrote uh, cracking slowly um, yeah you're being naive first of all my mom lives or lived in a mobile home park for the elderly and yeah they are didn't didn't like me because of what happened in 2009 um, I didn't break any laws but I did cause trouble because my family turned against me and I you know and I was drinking back then but I mean I didn't do anything you know I didn't break any laws didn't cause it didn't even make noise um, but to them anything <laughs> I have the paper oh I I uh, Basically, because it was an elderly park, community, whatever, anything was construed as just mind-blowing to them. If I walked around in short, short shorts, um, I ran to my mom's mailbox one time in an inappropriate outfit that they called a bathing suit. Um, and then I was, I had forgotten, because I was expecting mail there, and I would forgotten which mailbox it was. So to them, I was trying my key in all the mailboxes, and like she wrote in the letter to Mary, and it's, it's not like she would have gotten in, but still, the idea of it. The idea of it. The idea of it. Um, one time I was lost. Couldn't get back to my mom's house. Remember, this is my past. Um, but all of this only happened because my mom was locked up in the mental hospital yet again and I lost my mind a little bit and you know and, and my family turned against me and Marion had done her shit and weaved her lies you know um and I definitely made a lot of mistakes I fully admit to that okay but not this time <laughs> That was four and a half fucking years ago. This summer will be five years ago, okay? This time it didn't. But in any case, yeah. Marion, all Marion, Marion, I just say to that woman was I left the notes and Marion had to break, have a locksmith to get in my mom so that I abandoned my mom, that my mom's in the hospital yet again and I left and I, my mom doesn't have, have her dog. Of course, that's to Marion, to ignorant people who don't know the truth that, you know, I don't love my mom. Why would I have done that and left with, with the dog, not, and left the poor dog have to be, she has to give up her dog. I'll tell you why, because I'm smart. Because I hate Marion and I'm smart. And how I felt was this, I already told you. Marion and my mother each got 53,000 fucking dollars. My mom doesn't have bills. My mom doesn't have credit cards to pay off in tune of like 20,000 or something. You know what I mean? That 53,000 is just there. Sure, she's going to the dentist and doing some dental work, but come on. That's it. No car. Nothing. If there's a chance in hell of my mother getting out of the fucking hospital, and I really didn't think she, that what, there was, you can use a couple of thousand to pay a professional to take care of the dog. I did not have to stay there and take my aunt's shit again. Do you understand? I was moving out. I had every right to move out. I was not obligated to stay there and clean my mother's house and take care of her dog. They aren't poor! Marion's not poor. My mom's not poor. Okay? My mom doesn't have to lose her dog. We know what Mary is saying, though. Oh, Laura's such an ungrateful bitch. She left her mom. She she destroyed her mom's house. She left. She had the dog have to go be put in a in a kennel or, or you know the dog catcher or whatever you know or it doesn't matter. Half truth. Okay. I didn't do anything to my mom's house at all. My mom had been lying about me. I was fearing she was threatening to call the cops on me and her delusional craziness. I had to get out of there. And in the end, I grabbed my opportunity. It was chance. This roommate was willing to come and get me. He hadn't even met me. Who does that? 